एस चांद प्रेजेंस एजुकेशनल वीडियो लेक्चर्स एस पर दी ए आई सी टी ई कारिकुलम डिफिकल्ट कॉन्सेप्ट मेड इजी स्टडी एनी वेयर एनी टाइम maxima and minima of function of two variables everybody wants to maximize the profit and minimize the loss it means that you should know that how you can maximize your profit and how can you minimize your loss so just try and uh, understand the concept of maxima and minima and we'll be doing it for function of two variables because the problem can be in like any number of variables so we'll be discussing for two variables especially in this lecture welcome to s chand academy i am dr seema thakran if you want to study maxima and minima problems of two variable functions in detail please refer to the book by s chand publishing the ebook link is given in the description box below so let's start uh, maxima and minima of function of two variables i'll just first brief the uh, concept how like uh, we'll be applying and how we what is the basically the procedure is so maxima and minima of two variable function so if it is for two variable let f x y s b two variable function if it is two variable function again uh, the concept already we have learned in our la last lecture how to find partial derivatives this is totally based on partial derivatives and what to do how to proceed so f x y will be given to us or any real life problem if we have we can write it in, uh, in the terms of a function so f x y is the function first we'll find a del f by del x and del f by del y and i have already explained you how to find these two first order partial derivatives so after finding these two partial derivatives you will put del f by del x and del f by del y equal to 0 this is first step is function will be given for partial derivatives will be finding then equal to 0 and solve the two equations do jayengi uh, the equations will be two del f by del x equal to 0 del f by del y equal to 0 solve these two equations to find or to get the values of x and y so some x y values you will be uh, getting when you will solve these two equations the values are called saddle points these values will be the saddle points or the points critical points also the points where you discuss maxima minima now after doing this find the second order derivatives earlier i told you that these two derivatives are different but in this as per the syllabus when we'll do such problems this these two values will be the same it means either you find this or this the value will be same i will call it as r this as t and this as s i'll call this sec, uh, del del square f by del x square as r del square f by del y square as t and del square this uh, as uh, this second de derivative uh, second order derivative del square f del x del y or del square f del y del x anyhow you can find it so this will be s now next step will be and all these values particularly what i am doing because some uh, values of x you will be getting at each point we'll be checking uh, other uh, like whether at that point the function is maxima or minima so it means the particular checking will be at particular point only so everything is particularly on a point after this cases cases i'll discuss my first case will be at and uh, suppose the xy value is ab some xy value is ab and will the uh, will uh, with the help of the example also we'll understand first i am showing you the working 
So case first says if R t minus s square at that particular point is positive, R t minus s square is particularly greater than zero, up, up greater than zero, and your R is negative. The R value is negative. Then at in this case the function has maxima value. at a b if these two conditions are particularly coming for the a b point then it means function has maxima value if r t minus s square is greater than 0 but r is greater than 0 it means the function has minimum value at that particular point if r t minus s square is less than 0 if r t minus s square is Less than zero, it means that there is like neither maxima nor minima situation. So in that case, there is neither maxima or nor minima at A B. It means you cannot like. There is no uh, uh, judgment for maxima minima whether it is max or min. Now number four. If in case you are getting it as zero, for such case there is no observation. It means this case is doubtful. Nothing can be said actually. So this case is we call it doubtful case. It means you cannot decide what the situation is exactly. so that they the case is this case is doubtful case and we leave it because we cannot uh, discuss or we need uh, some further tools to uh, check whether what situation basically at that point so this is the working or this is the procedure and uh, we'll be using this procedure and we'll be finding the uh, maxima and minima for the particular function of two variables So uh, this is the end of the part one, and we have learned how to find the working of uh, finding maxima and minima. In part two, I'll be taking the examples, and uh, we'll see how we find practically maximum and minimum values of a function of two variables. If you want to study the topic maxima and minima of two variable functions in detail, please refer to the book by S. Chand Publishing. The e-book link is given in the description box below. Don't forget to share like and subscribe S Chand Academy press the bell icon for the future updates stay connected stay tuned keep watching the upcoming videos thank you All rights reserved this video has been prepared for educational purposes only no part of it may be reproduced or copied without the permission of the copyright holder